what up it's garage gym homie and today i'm reviewing centurion labs god of rage extreme pre-workout is it worth it before i get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out every day for you now from supplement reviews health food reviews gizmos gadgets goodies all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there so click subscribe and let's get into this. Man, it's High Stim Saturday. Ooh, I hope all of you were uh, feeling blessed, man. I hope you're all feeling the buzz coming from your heart. I did a live workout earlier this morning with, uh, with my brother. We went harder than paint on those arms, man. We got them pumps in, and I'm gonna review this pre-workout here, man. Centurion Labs. This pre-workout got mixed reviews. You know, uh, I'm going to talk about my experience. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you straight, man. This is the GGH. No schlong shine. Time to get down to business. Qu time to quit monkeying around. Let's start pumping some freaking iron for once in your life. Here we freaking go. Get hyped up, man. It's high stim Saturday, man. You're sitting there with a the long face. Wipe that long face off, man. Put a smile, man. Smile. Here we freaking go, man. I'm back. I'm back, man. Took a week off, stim break. Hope you saw my video about it. So here we go. Centurion Labs, very popular company, man. Very popular company. A company so popular, they have a lot of fakes going around. I think I took one that said it had DMAA. I think it might have been a fake, man. I think it might have been a fake. I, I talked with, with uh, the owner of the company, man, and... Uh, Good dude right there. Put me up on some games. So this one's real. Because this was brought to you by Sup Central, man. This was brought to you by my big homie at Sup Central. So if you're going to get this, only get it through Sup Central, man. That's the only place to get this boy for you. Because that would be supporting me. And uh, I get a tiny little kickback. It goes to a good cause. Probably like... Uh, a cheat meal or something for me to keep my head straight so I can still be here for you guys. So no, seriously, I only put the GGH name on, on things that are good and Subcentral will have your good dope to you in like a day, two days. I mean, they're, they're not monkeying around. So support Subcentral, use my discount code. I'm, I'm linking it right below uh, so you have it here. So here's the deal, man. Let's talk about what's in this mug. Oh my God. Centurion Labs, good job for you, man. You're not talking feelings here. We're, we're talking facts today, man. Only facts. Meaning, they're giving us none of that one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss, mumbo jumbo. And they're telling us the scoop size. They're telling us everything that's in here, fully disclosed label. I love it, man. I love it. We don't have to do too much thinking here. So they're giving us one scoop, 13.8 grams, 30 servings in a container here. So you money hungry, grubbing, penny pinchers, value chasing, thread con one people. You love that, man. You love, ooh, man, I'm feeling the pumps right now, man. Let's freaking go. All right, 13.8 grams, one scoop. Citrulli Mallee, two to one ratio, four grams. That's for the pumps. That's for the vascularity. That's for the gorilla look in the gym. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's for the warm, fuzzy hug, the tingles, the revved up feeling, the endurance. That's, that's clinically dosed for you, uh, Bill Nye science worshipers out there. Then you got creatine minohydrate, three grams. I don't care so much to see creatine in my pre-workouts. According to some of the science, it helps shuttle nutrients to the muscles, so maybe it makes the pre-workouts more effective. I don't know. Taurine, 500 milligrams. Caffeine anhydrous, 300 milligrams. Is that enough for a high stim Saturday hitter? We're going to find out. Then you got jugless regi extract. So I caught them. They're talking about feelings. What they're meaning to say is a little DMHA for you who like to live in the edge, a little gray area for you fine folks, man. Okay, so the truth is, 200 milligrams of jugless rejig, that's DMHA. That's a, that's a perfect solid amount right there. But what I was gonna say is you never know how jugless regis is gonna be. Sometimes you get jugless rejig, you get, you, it's supposed to be more natural form of DMHA. Sometimes it feels just like two amino. Sometimes it feels 
like that more natural form. You never know, man, by the freaking label. Theobromine, a cousin to caffeine. 200 milligrams, a nice amount. Pairs well with the caffeine, gives you more energy, mood elevation, focus, yada, yada. Then they got Oriagerenesis. N phenethyl dimethylene citrate, they call it. 150 milligrams. Another stimulant that pairs well with all this good stuff. Mucana perinus, L-dopa, 100 milligrams. Choline bitartrate, 100 milligrams. Hortonine, 50 milligrams. Another stim for you freaking drug addicts. Go to rehab, man. Hygienamine, HCL, 25 milligrams. And then they're giving us Huperzine, 200 micrograms. That's going to get you focused and that's going to get you dialed in. That's going to get you thinking about the ways, forgetting about your Tinder dates that you don't even have because women don't like you. Start pumping iron and maybe one day they will. I'm still freaking waiting. GGH is waiting, so I know you're definitely waiting. Women. Get in the way of your gains anyway, man. So what's my experience with this? So I took the pre, man. I took the pre. Gashing grape, that boy tasted fire. I'm not much of one of you flavor freaks. I don't care, but I always said, ooh, they got that grape hitter down. I don't often take grape pre-workout so i was like "Ooh, that, that's good man that's a good taste right there i came down to the dance floor man 10 minutes after i started going live on youtube this was a smooth operator the energy came in smoothly not strongly the energy came in smoothly smacked you in the face just a little bit just enough to know it was there and then said we're ready to get down to business. Not in an aggressive, heart-beating way. In a feel-good way. In a, this is working, this is kicking in slowly, but it definitely has an effect. And then it was time to start dancing, man. We picked up the weights. We started hitting them biceps. We started hitting them triceps. The pumps, the pumps were incredible on this. I had really good pumps. I don't know, maybe that four grams of citrulline, Maybe it was the creatine. Maybe it was because I know how to freaking do the rep. You know what I mean? GGH going to activate them pumps. They give me a little bit. I'm going to make the best out of it because we go hard, man. We don't rest in between sets. We, we dilate them vessels there. So you want to hear about the stims. This is what I'm going to tell you, man. This is what I'm going to tell you. This boy built and built and built. The energy was consistent. It wasn't... Crazy heart beating energy. I, I like that. I don't need my heart coming out of my chest. Did it feel like 300 milligrams of caffeine? Yeah. If you would have said there were 350 in here, I would have said, okay, it feels like 350. So it felt like at least 300 milligrams of caffeine. But the mood elevation came in nicely. And it kept building. After about a half hour after I took it, you just felt, you felt like you wanted to say, I'm feeling good. In fact, I said out loud, I said, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. There was a good mix between tunnel vision and mood elevation. Not insane dark labs type of DMAA tunnel vision, just enough. So here's a few things I'm going to say about this. We talked about the pumps. The mood elevation was good. This Jugless Regis felt like Jugless Regis, meaning... Certain pre-workouts have that super, like that dust X, just had that crazy euphoric DMHA feeling where it's just like to another level. This was just enough that you knew it was there. It did feel like a healthier feeling than that, not as cracked out, stimmed out type of feeling, um, but it just kept building. This felt eerily similar to El Jefe. So if you liked El Jefe, you would like this a lot. This was right up your alley if you're a fan of El Jefe. El Jefe to me was just like, I don't even know that I'd be able to tell the difference. It was just that feel good energy where you're not like super cracked out, meaning I didn't get any of the negative side effects uh, that I did from like, let's say the OG preface KO where you're just so high but it comes with that cracked out feeling, that crash, that appetite suppression. This had nothing negative. You didn't get as high as that. It was, it was just enough so you knew the DMHA was there, 
left you feeling buzz during the workout and buzzing well after the workout. Nice and talkative, talking junk, just feeling good vibes, and you're gonna be able to eat after, you're gonna be able to vibe with your lady after, get a little sexual healing in if you want. You know what I mean? It's not gonna play with your little pee-pee. The one thing I will say, my brother did ask if there was alpha yo in here, which there's not. He said he did get some of those cold, uh, the chills afterwards that Opperman mentioned. I personally didn't. Um, I had no negative side effects from this. Just a feel good, tapered off energy. Definitely um, just a good experience, man. I really like this hitter right here. And um, I'm happy with the experience, man. Very similar to El Jefe. Felt just like El Jefe to me. So if you like that, where it's not crazy heart beating energy, nothing over the top, just a feel good experience, nothing too high, nothing too you for, just great mood elevation with a good buzz. This is gonna be right up your alley. I've taken now three Centurion Labs pre-workouts. I don't know which were fakes or which were not. This one I know is not. And this is by far the best Centurion Labs pre-workout I've taken. This is just more of that mental, good, focused, feeling, talkative energy much more than that crazy heart beating, I'm stimmed up with cheap ingredients, caffeine through the roof feeling. That wasn't what this was about. This was a, a good dialed in mental high. So that's what I got for you, man. Very happy with this experience. Nothing over the top, nothing crazy, but just performed nicely. You're gonna wanna hit set after set after set and still feel that good you know, good vibes throughout the day, man. So I'm ready for a good cheat meal. Seriously, if you want this hitter, um, get it through Sub Central. Use my discount code, because that's who sent it over to me, man. They were kind enough to send it over to me, and my big homie over there is a good dude, and um, I just think that yeah, we gotta support smaller companies we like who are doing it right. And uh, Centurion Labs likes to uh, have the distributors do their, you know, sales for them, because I talked to the owner, he's more focused on giving it out to people like Sub Central. So we support Sub Central here. So that's what I got, man. End of freaking story. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. This is not Don Lemon's pre-workout. This is not Ellen DeGeneres pre-workout. This is not, ooh, I'm hard because I watch Tucker Carlson pre-workout. This is, let's get down to training and feel good at the same time and not have any negative side effects that that destroy our appetite or ruin our night or, you know, just do anything silly, man. Your heart's going to be intact. Your head's going to be in a good place. End of freaking story, man. Together, let's get this dang muscle. God bless all of you. I'm out. Oh, lastly, the beta came in really nicely. It was mid-beta. lasted about 20 minutes or whatever. Nothing crazy with the beta, but it was noticeable. I'm out.